Today, many of us are spiritually blind. So, how can we have the restoration of true sight? We find lot of blind people in our world. It is a tragedy to become blind. They would never be able to see the beauty of the skies, the color and the shape of the trees, the movement of birds and animals. Above all, they never see the beauty of human beings, the masterpiece of God. Everything is dark for them. Thus, they do not witness sun shining above them, nor the magnificent stars shining at night. Yet, the other senses of blind people are very sharp. They have heightened sense of hearing, smell and touch. This is because the brains of those who are born blind make new connections in the absence of visual information. Therefore, blind people can identify people and objects in a very special manner. Today's Gospel presents us the incident of Jesus healing the blind beggar Bartimaeus. Jesus was journeying towards the holy city Jerusalem. While Jesus was passing Jericho, this blind beggar was sitting on the way. Although he was blind, he wanted to see. His only hope was Jesus who was passing by. For long years, he would have gone in search of healing, but nothing helped him. Finally, in order to earn a living, he turned to begging. Most of the time, people would have refused him and cursed him. They did not have any sympathy towards him. But now, there is a ray of hope amidst the gloom of darkness. The wonderwork of Nazareth, whom he had heard of, is passing by. This was his last chance. So, he cried as loud as he could, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Then, the others turned to him and scolded him. They wanted to keep him quiet. But for Bartimaeus, Jesus was his only hope. He didn't care about the noise of the crowd and shouted all the more louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. This cry of faith stopped Jesus. And Jesus called him and asked, What do you want me to do for you? In fact, Bartimaeus had a tremendous faith that Jesus would give him his sight back. So, he simply asked Jesus, Master, let me see again. Jesus identified him his great faith and told, Your faith has made you well. And immediately his sight was restored. Poor Bartimaeus accepted Jesus as his personal saviour. He approached Jesus with a tremendous faith. Finally, he received what he was yearning for. The first reading from the prophet Jeremiah tells us that a day will come when the lame will walk and the blind would see. Certainly, this day dawns with the arrival of Messiah. Jeremiah brings the joyful announcement of deliverance and restoration. Lame walking and blind seeing are signs of the dawn of the Messianic Kingdom. Now according to the Gospel, the great days Messiah prophesied had begun. Messiah gives sight to the blind. The restoration foretold by the prophet finds its fulfillment in Christ. In the present day also, we need the restoration of sight. Today, there are many others who are spiritually blind. Though they have the gift of sight, they have closed their eyes to the way that leads them to life. In some people's lives, passions and temptations have taken over, and they have missed the correct perspective. They are blind to their inner spirituality, and they don't feel the need of a savior to heal them. In fact, most of us are spiritually blind today. We have been blinded by the commercialism, pleasure-oriented lifestyle, and atheistic views. Many of us are groping in darkness like the blind men. We try to find something for our temporary satisfaction and we miss the path of salvation. Today, our families, our country, and our society need true light and true vision of life. Therefore, like that blind beggar Bartimaeus, let us cry to Jesus, Lord, let me see again.